Checkpoint Slurus model stable diffusion 1.5 I know, it's a lot. Especially when you're just starting out and you just want to get it going. When I started out, it was very confusing and I wish I had watched a video like this. That's why today we'll take a deep dive and I'll explain the differences. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of these concepts. Let's get started. Let's start with the biggest one, models or checkpoints. Models are the largest files in this context typically ranging from 2GB to 7GB. They're designed for handling broad concepts such as photorealistic or cartoonish images. You may come across different versions like 1.5, 2.1 or SDXL, which is the latest version. If you're using Ting Diffusion, here's what you need to do to use a certain model. Visit CVTI page, find the model that you like, copy the URL. Inside Ting Diffusion, navigate to Automatic 11.11 Models, Stable Diffusion, click the Upload icon, paste the URL in the address bar and hit Submit. Hit Refresh button and select your model. Second largest files are LoRa's. There are medium-sized files, typically ranging from 10 megabytes to 200 megabytes. They're specifically trained for various purposes, such as faces, objects or environments. On CVTI, you can recognize them by the LoRa tag, which can be the LoRa or LoRa XL for Stable Diffusion XL. Stability AI expects these files to become the most popular way of enhancing the images. If you want to use them inside Think Diffusion, here's what you have to do. Visit CVTI, find the LoRa you want, copy the URL, inside Think Diffusion, navigate to Automatic 11.11, Models, LoRa in your Files panel. Click the Upload icon, Paste the URL in the address bar and hit submit. Now click on show slash hide tab to reveal the LoRa and hit refresh. Now use the trigger words which are listed on LoRa's Civit AI page as positive prompts. Third type of files are textual inversions or embeddings which are the same but just have two different names. They're the smallest files, usually below 100 kilobytes and are good for small changes. A popular use of them is to achieve better pictures by adding the embedding as a negative prompt. A good example would be fast negative embedding. You can recognize them on CVTI by the tag embedding. Here are these two categories with different names where you could find them. If you want to use them in Think Diffusion, here's what you have to do. Go to CVTI, find the embedding and copy the URL. Inside Think Diffusion, navigate to Automatic 11.11, Embeddings, click the Upload icon, paste the URL in the address bar and hit Submit. Click the Show slash Hide icon to reveal the Textual Inversion tab and hit Refresh. Now click on the Embedding thumbnail to activate it in your prompt field. And this is it, I hope everything's clear to you now. If you still have any questions, feel free to comment below or join our active community on Discord. I'll leave the link in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.